All right, here we go with the Netgear Nighthawk VPN service setup. You'll want to log, log into your router, go into the Advanced tab, and then Advanced Setup, and then down here into VPN service. First thing you want to do is make sure it's enabled, then click Apply, so then it turns on the actual VPN service. You'll also want to go in here and click this link, which is going to take you to a web page, and here you'll want to specify the Windows 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on which uh, operating system you're using. I'm using 32-bit, so I already downloaded it. You'll want to go ahead and run this. This is just a pretty straightforward setup. This isn't anything special. Once uh, once this gets installed, you'll want to do a couple other things. I just let it select everything. Some other things about this VPN server you want to make sure you either have a static IP or a dynamic um, DNS setup. I personally have a static IP, and which is going to be better for this because uh, your IP is never going to change and it's just going to make things a lot easier. So now the setup completed, we're going to go ahead and close out of this. And then now we will download the configuration file for um, our router. Basically, this is going to have the exact setup files needed for IP address. As you can see here, it's talking about the dynamic DMS service. This basically is, you better have a static IP or dynamic DNS service set up or else you'll be copying these configuration files each time your IP address um, changes. Because normally if you have a residential account, your IP address every time your modem reboots or periodically throughout, um, throughout each month, you'll get pushed out a new IP address. So we're going to go ahead and save this file to our desktop. We're going to be placing this in the setup folder for the open VPN that software we just installed so we will go ahead now that this is unzipped we're gonna go ahead and copy all of these files into the open VPN folder this is on the C drive program files and we will copy them into the config folder now that they've been copied in here we will need to go and modify the VPN interface. So to do that, I just go in here to control panel and then quickest way to get there, Skype network. Change adapter settings. So this is what we're going to rename. As you can see it says tap windows adapter v9. I'm going to type this exactly because this is what the software is going to be looking for. So now that you have renamed the uh, network adapter, you can go ahead and run the OpenVPN GUI. You want to make sure you run it as administrator. So all you have to do now is click connect basically. So as you can tell that's all there is to setting up the VPN service on the router and in your clients. You'll want to do this on all of your clients computers so either it be a Mac or Windows laptops or anything like that. This is the process. Macs are going to be obviously a little different, but it's pretty much the same process. So if you guys have any other questions on this VPN setup or any other questions about this router, I'll be doing more videos, so stay tuned for those.